Hello everybody and welcome to toddler time. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Miss Camille and today we are going to be doing our hello song together, reading a story, and then singing five little monkeys together. So let's get started with our hello song. So can you tell me where your nose is? Where is your nose? Can you touch your nose? Good job. Well, hello everybody. Can you touch your nose? Touch your nose. Touch your nose. Well, hello everybody. Can you touch your nose? Touch your nose. Good job. How about your head? Do you know where your head is? Can you pat your head? Good job. Well, hello everybody. Can you pat your head? Pat your head. Pat your head. Well, hello everybody. Can you pat your head? Pat your head. Great job, everybody. How about your, how about your ears? Where are your ears? Can you wiggle your ears? I have to use my hands to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle my ears. Ready? Well, hello everybody. Can you wiggle your ears? Wiggle your ears. Wiggle your ears. Well, hello everybody. Can you wiggle your ears? Wiggle your ears. Good job. And we just have one more thing to find for our hello song. And it is our hands. Can you show me? your hands. Can you wave your hands? Great job. Well, hello everybody. Can you wave your hands? Wave your hands. Wave your hands. Well, hello everybody. Can you wave your hands? Wave your hands. Great job and hello everybody. Thank you again for coming to Toddler Time. We are going to read a really fun book today. Are you ready? Today we are reading What Would You Do in a Book About You? Wow, do you see the cover? There is so many possibilities. So many things that you could do in a book about you. This book was written by Jean Reedy and the pictures were illustrated by Joey Chow. Whoo! What animal is that that says, you're right, it's an owl. Who? What about you? Me? You. What would you do? The story starts now. Your tale is brand new. What would you do in a book about you? Have you ever read a book about you? Maybe a book that was something like things that you did, or maybe a book with a character that looked just like you, or maybe a book just about you. Did you write it yourself? Would you venture above? Oh, would you fly in a book about yourself? I might fly, that sounds pretty fun. Or below, ooh, or you could explore underground or beyond with help from a broomstick? 
you could be magical in a book about you. Or maybe a wand. Wow. Where are they? They are in outer space in a rocket ship. And even the cats have spacesuits on. That's good. Would you skip across stars or a planet or two? Would you go it alone or invite a whole crew? What do you think? Would you want to explore space? That could be pretty fun, but maybe it's a little bit scary. What do you think? Adventure is waiting. So much you can do. In this wonderful, wander-filled book about you. They're riding a train. There's a merman here. Somebody's painting. Do you see this giant whale? And look at that cat and elephant on the moon. Wow. There are so many possibilities. Would you rescue a king or a queen or a dog? Would you capture a castle? Sip tea with a frog? Would you want to have a tea party with a frog? I don't know if I would. Maybe. I've never really thought about it before. Wow. Would you ride a dinosaur? I would definitely ride a dinosaur. Would you ride a dinosaur? How about romp with emus? That might be fun. She decided to ride her emu. Would you dance with a yak while you both play kazoos? Oh, he's riding the yak too. That sounds pretty fun. I think I would ride the dinosaur. Oh, now where are they? Hmm. Does it look cold or hot? I think it looks really cold there. You see that snow and ice? I think they might be in the Arctic. And what animals do you see in this picture? Polar bears? How about this one? Do you know what this is? That is a walrus. Would you cure polar bears of the polar bear blues? That'd be nice to do. The polar bear blues? Have you heard of those? The polar bear blues. Seems like even polar bears get the blues sometimes. Sometimes they're a little sad. It would be nice if you could help them. Well then, cure the walruses too. I guess the walruses sometimes get sad as well. You don't have to choose. We can help both of them. Wow, this is a musical page. You might create something that changes a mind or makes a heart stir. You might simply be kind. Sometimes you don't need magic or something special to make somebody happy, right? You can just do it right now. He gave this cat milk and that cat is so happy now. You might give a big speech or defend something small. You might open a window or tear down a wall. And when trouble comes, you might bravely stand tall. You might muster your courage to rise from a fall. Oh no, it looks like he accidentally broke the window with his soccer ball. Is that good? No, but it was just an accident, right? And then he said, I'm sorry. And he means it. 
accidents happen sometimes. Wow. Another musical page, and it's got animals playing instruments. That would be fun. Would you march slow and steady or sprint from the start? Would you follow the crowd or lead from your heart? The choices are endless. The obstacles, few. So many chapters beginning to brew. Imagine the endless good you might do. In a heartwarming, heart-building book about you. So what do you think? After giving all these ideas, what would the book about you be about? What would you do in that book about you? Could be a ballerina, could ride a bike, could be a magician, a mermaid, you could sail the ocean or write music. There are so many options. You might read a book, you might write a book, a powerful page-turning book about you. A book about you in a book about you? Maybe you write a book in your book. Amazing. Astonishing. Astounding. Absorbing. Absolutely. Undeniably. Unmistakably awe-inspiring times two. Phew! If your life were a book with pictures and pages, what would you do to be read through the ages? Stop, dream, and think it through. What would you do in a book about you? Wow. You could scuba dive. You could take a rocket ship to space. You could ride a broomstick or become a superhero. You could go underwater and swim with a whale. Wow. There are so many options. The end, or rather, the beginning. Wow, what did you think about that book? Did you imagine the book about you and what would be in it? What do you think you're gonna do in your book? Do you think you're gonna do something realistic or do you think you're gonna do something imaginary? So many possibilities in that book about you. All right, thank you all for reading with me. Did you bring your five little monkeys with you today? I brought my little monkeys. Can you get yours out and show me your five fingers? Good job. Ready? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Hmm, there were five monkeys and one monkey fell off. How many monkeys are left? You're right, there are four monkeys left. Can you show me four fingers? Good job. Ready? Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. <sighs> no more monkeys, right? 
but there were four and one fell off. How many are left? You're right, there's still three monkeys. Do you think they're still jumping on the bed? I think they are. Can you show me your three fingers? Good job. Ready? Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. <sighs> Those monkeys just keep jumping on the bed even though they keep falling off. There were only three and one more fell off. How many are left? You're right, two little monkeys. Can you show me two little fingers? Good job. Ready? Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. <sighs> there were two monkeys still jumping on the bed and one more fell off. How many are left? You're right, just one monkey. Can you show me one finger? Good job. One little monkey jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. There was only one monkey left jumping on the bed and he fell off. How many monkeys are left? You're right, there are zero monkeys left. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. That's good, what do you think they're doing now? I hope that they're sleeping, right? <sighs> thank you for singing with me and thank you for helping me count monkeys. That is the end of our toddler time program today and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for coming, bye.